Hey guys, so in the previous session, what we did uh, was implementation of uh, scenario object dependency injection concept of this. And we learned how to take screenshots and we learned different screenshot strategies. Now what we're going to do next is, uh, I'm not very satisfied with the reports which we see here, right? So this is not very good report which I can present to someone. I am uh, supposed to be presenting my reports in a very, very good rich html format now this is html but it's not a rich html whereas there are no graphs there are the logs which are coming is very very linear and a lot of shortcomings with it this is just a very very basic uh, types of report which is available in cucumber so i'm going to make use of an existing library this is that is called as extend report it has been there in the in the market since quite long and the usefulness of that extended report is that uh, when you present your reports to a client, it makes more sense to him. He, he can be pleased by seeing that report in a very, very structured way. Uh, so right now it's no problem with this report. It hardly has one scenario, right? But what if you have hundred thousand scenarios, it becomes very, very difficult to navigate to different scenarios and read about what's happening there. Or also it doesn't show you any, any, any logs. It's always advisable to use an external library which can generate the reports, a good reports out of the box. So we are going to use that extend report here for our purpose, right? So maybe let's let me start with it. Uh, so I'm not going to you know dig very deep inside how the extend report works or what's inside. I'm going to or what that extend report is. I'm going to focus more on how will you implement it, right? So to do that, I have already done it in my previous projects, the same concept I'm going to, I'll just, just tell you the steps to implement it. And then we'll talk about in detail, little bit detail on how and what part of it. So what for implementation of this extra report, what you have to do is you have to copy and paste three important files. So let me just copy it from my previous project. So one is BDD config, then we have extend report and we have HTML hyphen config. These fi three files are important. So I'll first copy these three files and place inside source test resources. So it has to be placed inside source test resources. You cannot just keep it anywhere else. Otherwise it will not be picked by extended report library uh, jars. So I've placed these here. Uh, one of uh, the file, which is of importance is extend dot properties from here. You can actually configure so it, the extend reporter, which we have here can generate different kinds of reports like it can generate logs logger files it can generate html reports so right now i am marked as html start s2 and i can i have written logger dot start s2 that's all the things i can choose to be i can mark it as false i've just written true but it will not generate anything and then in the extend report out sec uh, section i have to i have written the location where it should be saving my reports so test output folder it will create and it will save the reports there right uh one last thing before you can start generating is or rather two more things we need to do so first thing is we need to end uh, you know place these property files configuration files here second thing which you need to do is inside your runner file you remember this is what i kept here i we discussed that we are going to use it later you need to copy this and you need to place this inside the plugin section now plugin section if you remember in in cucumber is used in the inside Cucumber options. The plugin uh, argument is used for you mostly for report generation. Or if you want to enhance your Cucumber uh, uh, framework and you want to enhance it and you want to add something, some you want to give it an extra functionality. So in this case, I am trying to give it an extra functionality in the form of this report. So this is the present in the extend report documentation. So uh, how I know that I have to keep it here because I have read the extend report documentation and I'm going to, that is how I know that I need to place this here. I'll talk about the documentation. I'll go I'll navigate to those pages for, from where you can read more about it. So this is the second step. First step was I need to place these files here. Second is I need to do this. And the third step, which is of utmost importance without which it will, nothing will work is modifying your POM file. So extended report, as I said, is an external library. So you need to add few dependencies, right? So I'll talk, I'll tell you what dependencies, what is you need. So there are four dependencies. One is extended report, Cucumber adapter. 
second is extend reports third is free marker four is mongodb this mongodb and free marker why i am adding this is because these dependencies are dependent on it right so i need to add all these four dependencies here now all that is present in excel report documentation by the way and that is how i knew that i need to do that i uh, i did not get any intuition that i need to do that so i have added these four dependencies here as soon as i do that it will be added to my project and now if i go and run this so let's see if i go and run this run as j unit test saved let's see what happens this time to so this time the same thing will happen it will run the test and once the test case execution is complete it's passed and if i go and refresh my project so if i go and refresh it then if you notice i have a new folder called a star test output and here i have uh, basically two things one is a logger second is a report okay so if i go and see this report open with web browser the log which i see now is is of high quality so let me show it here right so this clearly looks quite good compared to this report right so always it's always good to show this report to a client rather than showing this report isn't it and it it's it has many functionalities it actually can show you the graph it can show you the whole, all the steps which it executed you can also filter things out so if you want only want fail logs if you only want pass uh, logs right all this filtering is possible here right so right now it's only one scenario it doesn't make sense right now but if you have more scenarios it will become more sense to you that uh, you know to filter things out because sometimes very important that you only need uh, specific uh, information or you want to filter the reports in terms of whether it's i only want to see fail test cases i only want to see pass test cases or if you want to see test cases belonging to a specific category called as tags tags is what we did not do it as we did not implement it as of now but tags uh, scenarios bifurcated or segregated across tags is what is a fundamental principle in cucumber and you have to implement it right now we only have uh, one scenario so we did not do any tagging or just to give you a glimpse on how that is done let me just do it so if you tag a scenario or feature file i'll call it as at the rate search let's say you have different feature files belonging to different tags all those tags will appear somewhere here and then you can click on those tags to filter your feature files or filter your test results then you have one more important thing called as dashboard so dashboard a lot of things appear so right now it's feature scenario steps only one uh, so in this from this dashboard you also get to understand the overall picture of your test execution okay now one last thing about this is there is one more thing which i generated called as logger right so in the logger uh, it generates the low level logs so it generates some good level of logs let me show you that as well so these are low level logs it actually tells you what really happened during the execution uh, in the log so i am not implementing log 4j because i don't really need to do that i can however it has some different application of course but test extend report also gives you a mechanism to generate logs okay what else do we have here uh, let me see right so we have logs dashboard we have good uh, good way of uh, projecting our test automation reports now let's talk about uh, how did i know how to implement this okay so um, in this specific project what i've done is to use a extend cucumber adapter now this is a different kind of extend report where the implementation or integration of extend report library has made uh, you know very very simple they have made it very simple prior to this adapters this cucumber adapter prior to this lot of statements had to be written lot of configuration had to be done in the course you have to actually define object called the like extend report test object 
and then you have to actually write the statements to log that information here now with the advent of this when with the introduction of this adapters things have are become have become men, you know very very simple you don't have to do anything in the code it's very very it's not at all intrusive you don't have to write anything inside your uh, in your in your actually test cases see all you have done is if i can show you all we have done is 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 use of this scenario native scenario object and when i do scenario dot write so this is being picked by extend report and that is what it is printing here okay this is what it is printing here as well as here so what you see these statements this is all being printed uh so chrome driver dot invoke well this is what i printed using scenario dot write it has captured it automatically i don't have to explicitly write it so i can actually show you how we previously used to do it extend dot properties let me navigate to this this is the documentation part of it one minute so it has everything all the information which you need what are these xml config xml files what it does etc 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 you see have all the information is present here and adding the ports about let me navigate to some more files here so how did i know this about this config files is from here okay logger.config this config that configs all the configuration files are present here then uh, all the getting started downloads how will you actually implement it is present in this documentation how will you do it right so actually you can actually navigate to various pages you can search for this extend report okay you can search for and report and you can navigate here and from here you can navigate to this docs version 4 docs version 4 java and here you will get everything okay so previously before uh, this adapter came into being you actually used to do all these things extend let's say you're not using cucumber and you still want to do extend report then you have to call these create these objects at runtime sorry these objects in the in your framework and then this is how you will do everything you have to create a test node then you have to write if it is a pass then you write test dot pass or, or create test on these kind of things you you have to do uh, you know in your framework but since we have these adapters the adapters we have two level of adapters right now so there are two adapters one is for test ng second is for cucumber so if you are using test ng framework then also you can directly do this if you're using cucumber then also you can directly use these adapters and this is this way this becomes very very less intrusive you don't have to write anything your any extend report objects or code in your in your framework you directly use these adapters and it will generate a good report for you so this is the complete documentation of it you can go through it all i have told you is how to do it the what part you can actually go inside these uh, documentation and read about it it's not rocket science very very good documentation i also read these documents and only then i implemented this here all right so yeah so i think we are good to go only last concept which we still have to implement is uh, dependency injection and that we will do when we scale up our test cases so what with the next session which we are going to do is to write more test cases here and then while implementation of these test cases we will have to create more step definitions right now we only have one step definition so things are pretty simple all you have to do is to define things there and just use it here but when it comes to the creation of two different uh, step definition and when it comes to the passing the state between these then things become more complex and that is where we are going to implement our next concept of dependency injection so that we'll cover in the next video